on the bench for the Suns is Jeff Hornacek, probably one of the tougher coaches in the league. He'll be in your ear if you make mental error. Thomas with the ball. Outside Brent. Sollinger is screen on Henderson. Bradley dishes to Thomas. Shot is off. Excellent D there from Bledsoe. And for Coach Hornacek, Greg, you learn from one of the toughest coaches as a player. You know, several trips to the finals. And you know this guy well, Clark. Now here's Len. Isaiah Thomas unable to get his last shot to go. And that one's good by Henderson. Always nice to get the first lead of the game. Yeah, I agree with you there because it, to me it's just much more comforting to play from the front than to be battling from behind. Now here's Thomas. He's coming off a 13-point game against Indiana. Here's Solinger, and it's good. Up through contact, gets the shot. He'll go to the free throw line. Yeah, outstanding job there of taking the harm and still able to finish. Yeah, he imposed his will on the defense that time. He was not going to be denied right there. That free throw good from Solinger. Now here's Henderson. 17 points for him last game against Indiana. Two on the clock. Shots good by Bledsoe. And that's his go-to move right there in the low post. Now here's Booker. He's coming off a 16-point game against the Pacers in Indianapolis. And there's the feed to Lua. And he pings it home with one hand. And nobody, guys, among the defenders stepping up to challenge him on that drive to the 10. And, Greg, he says, thank you very much, and <laughs> sails in for the flush. And those are the kind of sequences that tell you why the score is what it is. And that one's good. They set the pick. Wudso kicks to Lua. Wudso. Here's Booker. Missed inside. Oh, you, you've got to be able to deliver when you get a bunny like that. That's just too easy of a shot to miss. Pass to Little General. Johnson. Nice ball movement by Boston. Outside Turner. And he gets it to go. For Phoenix, they've gone four of five from the field so far. Thomas against Bledsoe. Kicks it to Lure. He feeds it to Henderson. Six to shoot. Pass to Booker. Puts one up from 19. Offensive rebound. The Sun shooting their second and third shots at the line right here. And the first one at the line is good. You know, you can expect young big men to improve over time, but, but I didn't think anyone expected Lynn to jump ahead so fast. Little General, he's in at the point. Amir Johnson is out there with Tyler Zeller. Then there's Avery Brant. And it's Hunter in at the shooting guard. That's the Boston Five. Shot clock at six. Little General. Pass to Hunter. From deep. Lang grabs the board. Now let's send it to Doris from the sideline. Thanks, Kevin. Little General in the last game against the Pacers ended up having a lot of troubles. He dropped in a handful of points. One thing that's a bit disturbing for him right now is the fact that it's been a string of games like this together. His numbers are down, and we'll see if he can buck the trend in this one, guys. Good work as always, Doris. Thank you. Well, we haven't seen too many games, guys, like that out of him before. And you know what? I'm, I'm thinking we'll see a different guy here tonight. Hard to imagine he'd have back-to-back -back bad games. Yep. Forget about back-to-back -back bad games on an individual basis. What he really wants to avoid are back-to-back -back losses. Back to Bradley. Hunter to end the run. And that one's good. 
Hunter's got himself going with the triple, his first basket of the game. Yeah, they've raised their shooting percentage in this quarter, and they're starting to get on track. And they're starting to heat up is what they're doing. They're on fire. I mean, that's what they need to climb back into this game. Nine for three. Oh! And Boston with the rebound. And going against Phoenix, their first meeting of the season. And this was as even a matchup as you'll find in the NBA. Split the season series down the middle, one apiece. Yeah, this is really tight. I mean, it's splitting hairs when you talk about these teams. You get the feeling if they play ten games, each side will win five. And that one's good. Here's Hunter. His last outing, he had eight points. Fires the three. It's hauled in by Buttinger. Passes it to Little General. Addition out to Thomas. Nailed from three-point land. Thomas got his first bucket of the game, and he's on the board for three. The Suns leading. At the conclusion of this game, they're off to Minnesota, where they'll take on the Timberwolves. That'll be the third game of this three-game road trip. Once hope kicks to Anderson. The feet, the land. Pocket six. Booker. And they wasted no time getting those three points back. And the Suns lead by four. Tit for tat right there, huh, guys? Didn't take them long at all, fellas, to get those three points back. Here's Little General. And again, it's Boston converting of the NBA season wears on but what a pleasure this year is turning out to be. Let's check out the West and see how the standings look. We look at San Antonio. Quite a season they've assembled here guys. Perched up there in first place and playing terrific basketball game in and game out. And checking out Phoenix. Nine and a half games behind. And I think for the Suns they weren't part of the discussion of teams on the rise as we came into the year. And, and now quite frankly we know why. If anything They've taken a step back. Yeah, and that's got to be terribly discouraging for them. I mean, I know how badly they wanted to contend for a playoff spot, but it's just not happening. I don't like that decision there on the entry pass. Not with the defender right there ready to pick it off. For the lead, Bradley can't get it to go. Here's Little General, guarded by Bledsoe. Holland, the pass to Little Jim. Bradley, just four to shoot. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Amir Johnson. That's his first foul. And that's an aggressive play to try to get the rebound. Just a little too aggressive. And unnecessary. That's over the top. That's doing too much, Greg. He wasn't in good position there. and He was never going to get the ball. He just wasted a foul. Tyson Chandler is just in for the sun. T.J. Warren comes in for John Lewis. And, and talking about T.J., guys, he put up a few interesting numbers towards the end of last season. Shot 64% from the field in March. Had 18 points in one game, 17 in another. The last game of the year, he chips in with six assists. So now it's up to him to put it all together on a more consistent basis. Little general in at point guard. Amir Johnson is out there with Evan Turner. Then it's Isaiah Thomas, and it's Selinger in at the five. That's the Boston Five. Upside Thomas. Pass to Little General. Just five on the clock. The Celtics need to get a shot off. On deep. Thomas, no good. He is just really almost playing for the other team. The shooting has just been poor. And Bledsoe, here we go. And Little General gets the whistle that time. That is his first foul of the game. Yeah, clearly he had an established position there. Yeah, and, and I, I like this call because you want the refs in that situation. If there's any doubt, err on the side of giving the benefit of the doubt to the offensive player. That should have been a block, and it was. Alex Lenz checked in for Tyson Chandler. Man, I don't know what happened right there. He just... Basically walked out of bounds. Celtics trail by five. Outside Thomas. There's the pass to Little General. It's Bradley on the wing. Celtics passing it around. That's good from Thomas on the assist by Bradley. 
Six points for Isaiah Thomas. Let's find out what Doris Burke has for us. Hey, guys. Well, Brad Stevens had some advice for the team over that last break. He doesn't think they've been giving it their all, saying they've been quicker to rebounds to every loose ball. we got to wake up. The game's slipping away, and we're letting it happen. We have got to take control of this thing. We'll see if he lit a fire under him, guys. Selinger is screen on Bloodsoak. Bloodsoak comes over to help. Thomas outside. Again, Thomas missing. He's going to play his way right onto the bench and out of the game if he continues to shoot it like he has so far in this quarter. Bloodsoak dishes to Lure. He gets stolen by Selinger. And here comes Thomas leading the fast break. And Gerald Henderson is going to pick up that foul. That's his first foul. And so it's Boston with it. So far in the fourth quarter, they've allowed just six points. Bradley hangs home the trifecta. I like the offensive awareness to exploit that lack of coverage on that play. He dishes it to Bradley. He passes to Thomas. Passes to Selinger. That drops. I tell you what, you don't want to allow too many of those kinds of baskets with the game on the line. This is when the defenders really have to protect the basket. You need to be in sync as a unit defensively. One kick kicks to Booker. Six to shoot. Dishes it to Bloodsoe. Free throw line jump shot. No good. Excellent D from Little Jenner. Celtics trail by four. Now the dish to Thomas. Pass to Little Jenner. Back to Thomas. On the arc. Can't hit. The Suns go the other way with it. Henderson passes to Bledsoe. Now the feed to Booker. He kicks it to Land. And so he earns a trip to the line. Officials saw the contact, and he'll shoot two. He hits the first one, and that puts them up by five. And the Celtics making a change here. Turner's checked in. And so he drops them both. It's a six-point ball game. Impeccable hook from the line since halftime. No misses yet. You can't do much better than that, guys. Here's Little General to the paint. Bradley. Just not much success when it comes to shooting. And Booker kicks the blood zone. It's going to be out of bounds. The Suns will retain possession. There's 48 seconds left here in the fourth quarter. It's Henderson on the wing. Four on the clock. Shoots over Turner. And that one's good by Henderson. And the Suns lead by eight. And if you thought this game was over already, you're probably right. <laughs> yeah, I would agree. I mean, it's staring us right in the face, and we've been around long enough to know when the game is over. And this one is in that category. We've got 22 seconds left in the fourth quarter. And now we've got the intentional foul. Good on the first, and that makes it a seven-point lead. Phoenix making some changes. Tyson Chandler, he's checked in for Alex Land. T.J. Warren comes in for John Lewis. And it's Archie Goodwin in for Gerald Henderson. The Suns making a change here. Buttinger's checked in. There's 21 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Money! Oh, and that cuts the lead to just five. Great opportunity right there. He's got such tremendous length. He can just rise up and get separation for the three. And an intentional foul right there. He drops the first one, and that increases their lead to six. And the Suns making a change here.
Second one is good. And both at the line. And it's a seven-point game. And no mistakes there. Good free throws to give them just a little bit more cushion. 16 seconds left to play here in the fourth. Tires from deep. Yarebko can't get it to go. And here is Knight. And so they foul intentionally. Yeah, with the game out of reach, intentional fouls don't mean anything. It's just an exercise in futility. Let the clock go. Yeah, I agree with you, Clark. Just doesn't really make a lot of sense at this point. So the first one drops, and that stretches their lead to eight. And he hits both free throws here. So now it's a nine-point ball game here. No mistakes there. I think you can close the book on this one, guys. It's done. So the Suns win it. A solid win on the road for them. This building was dead silent by the time GA this one wound down. And that's what you want to do. Take the crowd out of it by crush time. Don't give them any chance to lift their team up at the finish. 